a place you work in means a lot. It has such a tremendous influence on the quality of your work. Every artist needs a hideout, a place to consolidate and put your thoughts together, a place of power. This place is an accident. It's not a fancy office, it's a workshop. In 2021, for personal reasons, me and my wife decided to leave our ultimately settled life in the UK and come back to our home country. My work, of course, didn't stop, so I needed a space to work in. As you remember, I was also very optimistic about YouTube. So this space was made with the video production in mind. Of course, now most of his glory is gone because I moved back to UK and took all my lights and sound gear with me. This, however, remains our central hub and uh, server room. All our machines and servers are here, so anyone we work with connect to this place. I found this place empty, completely unusable, with crazy echo, and decided I could make something out of it. <laughs> While we were still moving, I found some builders who would do the work, who would transform this place, and shortly after we arrived, the place was ready. Instead of uh, shooting YouTube videos, though, I was swamped with work that I couldn't handle on my own anymore. And by the end of 2021, I had started thinking about the expansion of the team. LMI's first hire was the Ukrainian artist I knew from Video Copilot Tour in Barcelona uh, in 2019. Arseny was a fantastic addition to the team and helped a lot. Also later, Arseny helped to find additional force for other projects. After the war started, we were all frustrated and unsure of what to do. We all just kept working and grinding the challenging projects we had at the time. One artist managed to escape uh, occupied Mariupol. Dmitro is the keeper of this space now. We all were primarily working in Clarice back then. No one ever used it, no one heard of it. But the guys managed to adopt and work in it. Over time, Arseny and myself developed quite a few really amazing scripts for Clarice. And my plan was that I will come back to YouTube with a lot of content around Clarice high-end workflows, tools, assets, until they announced they discontinued the software. So I was left empty-handed for YouTube. I quit Cinema 4D and Octane in 2020, so my knowledge of that realm was outdated and the knowledge we acquired for the past few years was irrelevant. After testing alternatives to Clarice like Katana, I decided to fully switch to Houdini and Solaris. Katana is not for the kinds of projects we're doing. I have to say, I wouldn't be able to switch to Houdini full-time without Clarice's background. The logic of the workflow uh, has to switch quite a bit. I'm talking about Solaris specifically. Solaris is basically Clarice and Katana on steroids. Fast forward to present time, uh, I thought I miss Octane very much and the looks I'm, I was able to pull out of it. So I approached Otoy with a scientific proposal. What if we use all the knowledge we gained for the past few years and try using Octane in a similar scale scenes? Now we have tools and workflows that enable us to do so. Here's what I had in mind. What if we as a studio could stop our commercial activity for one year and do a research to prove that Octane can be the industry's fastest heavy lifter and Render Network can be the only render farm anyone ever needs. Currently, we're working together and our team is making a short cinematic using Houdini and Octane in Solaris. Last time I used Octane in Houdini was around 2018, 19, something like that, and it was barely usable. Too many attributes and Houdini things uh, were not supported. Now it's a totally different beast though. For me, Octane in Solaris supporting everything I got used to in Karma is quite incredible. 
that's a bold statement. Of course, there's a lot of caveats and still uh, a lot of work to do in the plugin, but this is exactly what we're trying to contribute to the plugin development. We gained experience in massive environments production, and now we're trying to implement the same tricks and workflows uh, in Octane through Solaris. To spice it up, I tried to do it all on my maxed out M3 Max MacBook, and I was shocked that this machine is faster than my 32 core 256 gigs of RAM station. I tested a few simulations in Houdini, both on this laptop and on the station, and the laptop is 1.5 times faster. I will do a properly documented tests later, but this is quite shocking. I managed to fully sculpt look dev, texture, you know, render in Octane, in Houdini, uh, in Solaris, a creature, whenever I was going for the past few months. It, this laptop is always with me and I was working directly on it. The project now resides in the studio just because GPU is still suffering on a laptop. Uh, NVIDIA GPUs win. And my internet in UK totally sucks. The whole point of the project is not to use the capacity we have in the studio, but just the laptop and render network. So I really need internet speed. A super duper painful topic. For more updates and visuals uh, around the project, you can subscribe to my closed channels on Telegram and uh, in Instagram subscriptions. I'm sharing my findings and progress as often as I can. So that's the story of this space. I just wanted to show it to you better later than ever, yeah? Wanted to show the capacities we have because it's really important for the context of the collaboration with Otoy. And I really wanted to put the exclamation mark on the fact that this laptop can be my main station, like truly, without any co compromise. And it was handling whatever I was doing. Time goes by, but curiosity is making it all fun. See you soon. Peace. Я про тебя сказал в видосе.